Hello everybody, welcome back to an episode of Just Said I'm playing The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild 100%. Last episode we did uh, this entire area, if I take a look at it in a moment. After, you know, I think I'll just go and keep this armor on. I've done this entire area over here, got all the corks and all the chests over here. And this episode we're going to go and do the stuff that's between this road, first and foremost, like up until this point. And if I still have time left, I'll go and do this. So let's get a move on. Now that I can use my horse. That sounded very weird, like there were two owls making a hoot sound at the same time and it sounded like a train whistle. I was like, wait, what train whistle? <laughs> this is a Mollet Skyrim, right? Or Mollet Sekiro for that matter. The freaking Thomas the Tank Engine uh, stuff of nightmares. <laughs> I used to love Thomas, uh, Thomas and uh, Tom, Thomas the... Th my god. Thomas or... Th th I cannot say it in English. Thomas the Tank Engine, there we go. I used to love that back in the day. I remember when we were going, um, when we were going, how do you say it, man, on a vacation, and we we did like like at this I in a case did most of my vacation shenanigans in my life were uh, in an RV, and it was amazing, man. It was it was absolutely amazing. It was fun, and back in the day we didn't have like. Uh, we did have a satellite on our on our RV, but we did not have uh, we did not have channels channels for from our own country. Basically, I think one of the one of the things we could always reach were like the German channels. Doesn't really didn't really matter too much where we were. We could almost always reach the German channels. So I would watch a lot of German shows. It was really it was really amazing. It was fun. <laughs> and one of the things that I watched in German quite a lot was like Bob the Builder and. Uh, Thomas the Tank Engine. Those are two of the th like two of the things that I watched a lot back in the day. That was amazing. I love it. Let me go and equip my barbarian armor because it's time to do some killing. Oh, I managed to hit him. That's a surprise. There we go. And let's go and do some stabbing. Ah, oh, blue one. Oh, he was getting grabbed. <laughs> Not entirely unexpected. Oh boy. There's a lot of stuff happening. Straight into the thick of it. How do we go and get this soldier brush sword? I cannot see what's happening. The bow cobble in tactic over there. Ow, you piece of shit. There we go. Flurry rush for life. <laughs> nice. Whoopsie, I missed. Fucking hell. Uh, no matter. They're all dead. And get the dragon bone poke. Yeah. And the rest can suck a dick, I don't care. Yeah, let's go and get our chest. And get myself top ass. Some dope ass. Mmm. Alright. So, the next thing that I can get is actually all the way over here. Oh, I know what this is. Let's do it, people. I need a f I need some more Lionel stuff. It's time to fight a Lionel, but not any just uh, not just any old Lionel. I'm pretty dang sure it's probably a silver Lionel with a savage Lionel crusher. And there's also uh, a thing to fight, a stone talus to fight somewhere. There's a shrine quest to be gotten, and I'm also going to put my uh, travel medallion on that place. Because that's actually a very annoying one to get. Because I need a certain event to be happening. So I'm basically not allowed to ki not allowed to skip the night anymore. From this point onward. It hasn't been too long since a Blood Moon happened there, I think. Uh, Blood Moon happened when I was exploring Hyrule Fields. Also... You. I'm lost. I don't know. 
still funny how all of these Giga clan people are so ugly. There's the weapon I need. Fight me, bitch. Oh yeah, right, that's what you did. <laughs> wow. I thought you were gonna be a little bit stronger, but nope, you're just stupid. <laughs> you're stupid ugly, and you suck. The Demon Carver. Awesome. Never have to do that again. Um, What do I not care about? This Dragon Bone Buffer Club. Get myself this uh, magnificent Demon Carver. I do love the way that that weapon looks. Alright, and let us continue. Even though I'm basically there, but... You know. <laughs> Alright. I do think I'm gonna stick with my... Barbarian armor, because having the attack up against the Lionels is really useful, because then I just don't use it. Then the, then the fights just go faster, really, which is all I care about. Let me go and equip a spear, though. I feel like a spear is the best weapon to use against this particular type of Lionel. Alright, is it a silver one? But of course. What else would it be? Hey, you know, if I'm lucky, I might be able to get a, uh, a star fragment to drop from one of these guys. That'd be pretty nice. Okay, time to stun you. Bruh, 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 bruh. Bruh. I hate that I cannot, like, I, there's no way that I can avoid that attack, by the way. I feel like when, if I'm too close to him and he does that at that particular attack, there's no way that I can avoid that. I've not had any success avoiding that attack before. Or maybe it's not a lot in any case. You see? Like, I can run away, I can do whatever the fuck I want. I'm gonna get fucked from that. Go and avoid that shit. Alright. Oh boy. That's the one where if you, even if you get a Flurry Rush, you're gonna get... Hit from the other thing. Yeah, fuck it, I'm using stasis from that one. No, 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 no. And again. Keep getting hit, but I stupid attack. Don't you love it? I do feel like these are the most bullshit enemies in the game right here. The Lionels with their, um... With their Savage Lionel Crusters are the most bullshit enemy in the game. Experience the Bush's Fury. And miss. And also still get hit by that attack. <laughs> you see what I mean? I think you're starting to understand what I mean. With this enemy being a little bit bullshit. And again. I have no words for what just happened. So, my Herbosis Fury missed. I get hit by almost every single one of um, his spinny attacks. Yeah, this is going splendidly. <laughs> Using all of my healing items. Nice. Wow, I got that again. I need to heal up. I could, of course, use my really beefy armor, but it doesn't really matter against this particular one. I'm gonna have to heal once I get hit from this guy anyway. Flare Rush on that attack? I've never been able to do that. Freaking hell, man. The ones with your crushes are stupid. <laughs> but that is my humble opinion. If I got a freaking Star Fragment from it, it would have actually been worth it. But no. <laughs> I don't deserve getting one of those. Cool. That's in there. So, now there is a thing over here. I think I'll go and equip my... How much food do I have left? Quite a lot, right? Well, a decent amount. Whoopsie. As long as I don't run into another one of those guys, I should be fine, I think. <laughs> the emphasis on I should be fine. Well, yeah, I feel like, unless if I'm fighting a Lionel with a Crusher, the other ones are easy. The ones with the spears are just annoying, and the ones with the swords and shields are ridiculously easy. Uh, 
Well, ridiculous easy. They're easy, let's say it like that. They're easier than the rest. I wouldn't call them ridiculously easy because liners are, in the end, always difficult. Alright. Let's go and get my Barbarian armor on. I can see the thing in the background. Ah, Lanaru Heights. So fun that I don't have to do it again. Because you were a little bit more annoying than I ever expected. Um. Ah, I was about to say, where is this dude? I didn't mark where he was, where, like where his specific location was. I just marked the plateau. Alright. Well, I can hear a pigeon in the background. Making his noise. Bap, 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 bap. Alright, let's go wait for him to drop. There you go. To think that I ever... <laughs> that I ever lost to a creature like this. To th I'm sorry, to think that we threw ourselves a million times against this particular creature. In our blind pleasure. I need to be up there. Um, so where's this thing up here? Maybe I should go over to the Washes Bluff first. Put on my travel anchor over there. And then I'll have to avoid skipping the night at all to go and get. Um, to go back to this area if I have a blood moon happening. Yeah, so it's probably all the way up there. So we have this thing over here, and when a blood moon happens, it will light up. And I think you have to stand on this thing naked, and then it will, um, then it will make a shrine appear. What the fuck? I thought I could climb up there. Or is I wrong about that? I don't think so. <laughs> my apologies if you don't like my singing. Am I coming along? Why is this a thing? <laughs> Just climb upwards. I need to talk to this bird man. There we go. When the moon bleeds. Ah, uh, oh, excuse me, was that a bit rough on the ears? Oh. Ah, you have done well climbing all the way up here. And I was talking about this place. Would you like to hear the ancient verse passed on in this region? Oh. Excellent, without further ado. When the moon bleeds and the fiends, are, the fiends are reborn, the monks will invite you as they have sworn. But first you must stand on the pedestal, bare, with nothing between you and the night air. I've never heard the song before. Mm. Hmm, when the moon bleeds, I wonder what that means. May the light illuminate your path. I know what that means. <laughs> I painfully know what that means. There we go. Let's go and get the core sheet now. There really isn't that much in this area, actually. Like a, yeah, just a couple, like another chest and two more Koroks or something. And then I'm done with this area, just about. Because the rest of the stuff is in the canyon. Which I definitely want to do later on. Right, back into barbarian mode. Because who needs defense, am I right? Wow, you're not that from that? There we go. 
Oh joy. More of this. Okay, so there's a cork in this forest. Question is, it's over here. <laughs> there is no question. Because the question was very swiftly answered by the game. Ugh. Well, I have an itchy nose. Bye bye. Okay. Um. So, next thing is over here. <laughs> totally forgot that you know whistling makes the most amount of noise in the game. I was thinking for a second, what the hell is moving over there? And then I was reminded that it was a dragon. I think I can run up here, right? Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> no thanks, buddy. As I get myself a radiant shield. <clears throat> That's it. Um, I have a lot of really good shields, so... I think I'll grab this radiant shield and then just drop it again. I've not used the Harleen shield. <laughs> quite yet. Well, it's a little bit too shiny for me to use. Also, I got this Korg, right? No, I guess. Right? Yes. <laughs> okay. Just wanted to be 100% sure. Right, let's go and walk back down the mountain. Or run back down a month. Or gallop, I don't know. Or is a gallop a run? I have no idea. I think a gallop is a run. Like just a casual run like this, not a sprint, I think. But I have no idea. Huh. I guess I didn't mark or I marked this thing off by accident. Oh boy, that could be really bad. <laughs> If I marked off any more than this, by accident. Let's see. That's one. Where's number two? Over here. Number three is over there. There we go. So, I guess I marked this off, right? Oh, uh, yeah. I marked it off. I think I marked off this one instead of the one in the other forest, right? That's what I did. Bye bye. Maybe I shouldn't mark it off. Maybe uh, maybe I shouldn't mark off these things too quickly. I could have missed that, by the way. <clears throat> if I didn't see it from a distance, I would have missed this Korok seed, which would have been painful as all hell. Missing one Korok seed. Mm. It could be that I already missed the Korok seed somewhere. Could definitely be. I'll figure that out later on in the game. <clears throat> if I don't have all of my corks at the end of the game, then I missed one. And then I will <laughs> look through my entire map to find that cork seed. Yeah, you found me. Bye bye. Okay. I think I'll get the other things around here once I go into the canyon. But for the time being, let us go back for a moment. And it is time to go and do the things over here. Let's see... Okay. Well, I go and fill in my glass of soda. Cause I need my blood is sugar. Well, not really, it's not for sugar. It's because I like drinking it, that's why. I like the taste. And I also would like to have something to... <laughs> to heal my throat. <laughs> quote and quote. To lubricate my throat. Oh my goodness. Let's go and call my horse. When I almost knock over my glass. <laughs> shit, shit, shit. No, 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 no. Did not want to dash. 
wanted to start the gallop. <clears throat> well, this one's easy. I like it when they're easy. <laughs> Yeah, ha you found me! Bye bye. Alright, next one is down here. This is the one with a thing in it, yep. I knew it. Yeah, you found me. Bye bye. You know, what? there's one thing that I would have definitely liked, that like that they would would have done with the Korok seats. That is like, if they made it so that you could, for instance, somewhere pay some rupees, not a lot of course, but like some rupees to know the location of a Korok seat. Then I can just go and look around and 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 figure it out that way. But right now, like without using a guide or without, yeah, just without in general using a guide, you will not be able to find all the cork seeds. Sure, there's a cork mass that helps you a little bit, but I also maybe think that the designers of the game didn't really. I still feel like, yeah, I, I feel like Nintendo didn't really think that you would collect all of the cork seeds, but I'm not sure. Because you do get a reward for getting all of them. You do get something for getting all of them, so it's not too big of a... <coughs> ...of a surprise, even though the reward is a little bit of a joke, but... That's neither here nor there. You know, run this way, because there is an Hinox around here. Somewhere. Could also be a Stalnox, of course. Would be nice if it was just a regular old uh, Hinox. There he is. Kind of hoping that I can get myself um, some Hinox cuts because I still need them. How many gems do I have? <laughs> a lot. Spoilers, it's a lot. I also have four cores again, which is pretty nice. Still gonna need a lot more though. Well, a lot more. Actually, I need six more, I think. And then I'm fine when it comes to normal cores. Right, let's go and wake the Hinox up. Really? Of course you have a fucking... Of course you have leg protection on both sides. Well, let me go and grab that... Royal Halberd or Royal Broadsword, whatever. Okay. Can I grab this Royal Halberd? No, because it disappeared. <laughs> hey, here nice cats. Nice. Cool. That's him definitely dead. Let's go and get a cork that begins over here somewhere. I'm also going to call my horse because it's really far away. <laughs> I love I love I love the teleporting horse. It's one of my favorite things. It is ridiculously useful once for one, and it's also fun to watch my horse just like blip out of nowhere and reappear right next to me. Okay, I'm gonna turn my horse around for a moment, and I'm gonna see if I can do this particular cork race by doing that, or maybe if it's floating better, I have no idea. Because I need to be on the end of that thing over there. Yeah, I'm not sure if this is better or using my horse. Urbosa's fury is ready. Yes. I think I'll just go and float over there and I'll climb up it. Hmm. I think I should be fine, right? Yeah. I've got more than enough stamina. There we go. 
Yeah, you found me. Bye bye. Okay, then we have a chest in the West Hyrule Plains. In a goblin fort. Sorry, bow goblin fort. <laughs> God damn it. I find it pretty like, amazing I'm starting to call bow goblins just goblins. It's D and D people. It screws in my head. Or just like any other fantasy world, really. Goblins are just bow goblins are just goblins, really. I just wanted to change the name a little bit because it's Nintendo. <laughs> Nintendo doesn't like to rip off things. At least not that I know of. Like, in the end, I don't really know that much about Nintendo, I feel. Not as much as other people know. I also don't feel like I need to, really. And apparently there were no bow in here. I was wrong, yet again. I do get myself some bombers, eh? Which is pretty freaking amazing. It's bloody amazing. There's also a chest in this skull over here, so that's definitely a bow goblin encampment. Which is like an enemy encampment or whatever. How long is my episode right now? 26 minutes. Wow, I can actually do a lot more than I than I originally expected I would be able to do. I also need to watch out for any swift violets. I just remembered. Okay. I think I can just get this chest, yeah. <laughs> then just get this chest without too many issues. As I get myself a silver rupee. Alright, so. Time for. I think this middle part, maybe. I might not be able to finish it in this episode, but I can definitely begin. Collecting some stuff. Let's begin at the tower, I think. Or maybe at the stable. Well, I think I'll... Yeah, no, I'll start with the tower. I feel better with doing that. So. There are some chests over in this place, though. Hmm, I think I'm going to ignore the chests that are over here. Reason being is because they're in the water and they're also protected by whiz ropes and... Um, the lightning is Elfos, and I do not want to deal with those enemies, so I'm gonna mark them off. Those are just like five fire arrows in one of the chests, and uh, a purple rupee in another chest. Alright, I think it's time to go and equip my climbing armor again, because I'm gonna have to do quite a sizable amount of climbing. This is also a minigame over here, if you talk to that guy, you can float down, and I don't know what the reward is that it gives you, I don't seem to remember it being that good. I think it's just money, but you can, like, you, the challenge is to float as far as you can without touching the ground. I don't know the rewards, but I think it's only rupee, so don't really care too much. This Korok seed, it's at ground level, okay. Alright, then shall we begin? Be. By getting that thing over there. <laughs> Doing a graceful dive down there. In the middle of a place filled with whiz ropes and... Lightning the Zelfos and Black Zelfos. <laughs> what an amazing area. One of the more difficult um, towers to get, in my opinion. Or more annoying, really. Because of all the lightning shenanigans. I can also see a lightning, uh, like a thunderstorm, happening on my weather radar. Alright. Three rocks and three holes yet again. <laughs> the sequel. I've already done this puzzle, so there's no lightning. Otherwise, I would, like, if you haven't done this area quite yet, you have to do the puzzle in the middle and, um, like, bring the four balls over to their holes. And then you get the shrine. And once you get the shrine, then the lightning will stop in this area. Otherwise, you will have a con continuous thunderstorm happening in this area. Which is not a good situation. <laughs> Because it's going to basically make it so that you cannot climb in general. You can, of course, use Revival's Gate, but even Revival's Gate won't get you all the way up here. And it's all easier to just go and do the puzzle first, I think. That way you get another piece of the rubber armor. If you're still looking for it. You piece of shit. 
All right, time for bow goblins or stall goblins, whatever the fuck their name is. As I miss. Wow, you killed your own friend. Well, yeah, I'm talking about the creatures that you know shoot each other and <laughs> whatever. Come on. There we go. Yeah, you found me. Bye bye. Okay. That gives me one more Korok to get over there at a grand level. Let me go and call my horse. <clears throat> oh, so this beautiful voice cracks. Let me go and get my horse. <laughs> I swear to you, I am not um, a 14 year old boy. <laughs> or 16 year old, whatever. Jesus. I am a grown man of 22 years old. <laughs> kind of grown man. I'm getting there, slowly but surely. Alright, time to blow up the wall. And get the cork. Yo ho ho! Bye bye. Okay, um, now there is also going to be a Korok over here. Let's get him move on. Ignore the freaking bow goblins, because they suck. Also try to ignore these keys. Because they're... <laughs> would you know it? Also very annoying. <clears throat> I can get over this. I'm kind of wondering, what do I still need to do when it comes to... Armor upgrading. Um, I mainly need star fragments at this point, I think. Star fragments, acorns, coarser bee honey. Dragon parts is not... Well, technically, yes. I do still need to farm some dragon parts. I need to farm two more nadra scales, but that's really easy to do. Hinox and Lionel stuff. And then ancient parts and swift violets. Okay. The fact that I can remember these things is astonishing. <laughs> It is a little easy to remember at this point, because there's not as many items I need to take care and that I need to care about. It's really handy that I don't have to care too much about getting critters anymore. That's one of the things that I really like. And one of the types of critters I still need, which is like an energetic rhino beetle or whatever, is gonna be a type of critter I'm gonna have to farm for in a forest anyway, because I can barely see them and I have the I have a picture of him right now, so I can get him at well to these. Okay, so this goes over to that particular mushroom thing. I think you can cut these things down, by the way. If you feel the need to. There we go. Yeah. Okay. So, there is another Korok over here. In the deeper pool of water. Which requires me to just hop in. Oh, yep. I missed. Yeah, I was thinking about that. That was a really close one. <clears throat> Doesn't count. Nice. Let's try that again. There we go. Yeah, you found me. <laughs> yes, I found the Korok, but I never found my voice because apparently my voice is breaking like crazy, which is funny. Uh, there we go. I don't mind it too much, really. don't really care too much about it. It doesn't hurt in any way, so... I've noticed, like, once my voice starts to hurt or whatever, then I need to stop. That's one thing that I... That's actually the only issue I had back in the day, I feel. Where does this thing start again? It starts on the mushroom next to me, I think. Right? No? Fall tree of flowers that start on the top of the large mushroom tree. Okay. There's also swift violets over there. There's also a thunderstorm about to happen. I think it's more important for me to get the Koroks though. <laughs> and then the flower is... where exactly? Um. Am I mayhaps blind? <laughs> 
I think I need to go back up first now. I can also shoot down those swift violets, so. Don't really have to climb up first for those. Um, hmm. I must have missed a step. Oh, there it is. Where? Where is it? <laughs> Uh, guess I'll go and fly back upwards to figure out where it is. Because I lost it again. What? Um... <laughs> I cannot find it for the life of me. I heard it appear, but I don't know where it is. Ah, shit. So... Where? Where? I can't find it. Um, give me a moment while I figure this out. Oh, pfft. and there we go, people. No need to figure it out anymore. Fuck you, useless walking pieces of trash. Die and never come back. There it is. It was a little bit difficult for me to see. There we go. Yeah, you found me. Oh boy. Okay, that was not a Swift Violet, right? Yep. <laughs> As I miss. I have 11 of those now. Okay, good. How long is my episode right now? It is 37 minutes. That seems like it's fine to me. Alright, people, that's gonna be it. Hope you enjoyed this episode of Just I was playing The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild 100%. And next episode, we're gonna go and continue by exploring the Sir's Scablands and this entire area up here. At least. Goodbye.